Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In addition to the options for formatting individual cells, there are several options for formatting the entire table. Most of the options are the same, but there are a few additional formatting options to choose from. To modify the table properties, right-click anywhere inside the table and click Table Properties. Here you'll see all of the same options you saw when you created a table using the Insert Table dialog box. You can change the number of rows and columns in the Size section. You can use the Layout section to change the overall alignment of the table. You can use the Float dropdown to specify how text should wrap around the outside of the table or on which side it should wrap around. And you can set the cell padding and cell spacing. Cell padding is the amount of space between the wall of the cell and the content of the cell. If you set this to zero and your content is text, the left edge of the letter will bump right up to the border of your cell. Cell spacing is the amount of space between the cells. Keep in mind this is different than the border size. The border size refers only to the border that goes around the outside edge of the table. Again, to the right, you can specify the width and height of the table in pixels or in percentage of the page. The borders section has options to set the size of the border if there is to be one. If you don't want a border, set the size to zero. Then, depending on the theme you have applied, if you have one applied, you may be able to change the color, light border, and dark border. However, with some themes, this is not an option. Then in the background section, you can use the color dropdown to select a background color, or you can put a check mark in Use Background Picture and click the Browse button to select a picture as the background for your table. In front page 2003, you have the option to set the colors and other formatting options that you've selected as the default for the new tables. Once you've selected all of the necessary layout and formatting options for the table, click OK to apply the settings. Again, if you're using a resolution smaller than 1024 by 768, you may need to click and drag the Table Properties dialog box up a little so you can click the OK button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.